Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a Beatles vinyl update, which I know I haven't done in a long time, and I have been meaning to do them, I've just never quite gotten round to it, but I'm going to be doing one now, and there's actually going to be a specific theme in this Beatles vinyl update, as all of these uh, LPs I actually got at Liverpool when I went um, two days ago, on Saturday, um, I go every year and see what I can get down there, you know, it's a great place, Liverpool, as well as the tourist attractions, obviously there's great opportunities for vinyl, um, so I just thought I'd show what I got this year. Um, as a matter of fact, everything I've got to show today is US vinyl, um, because I really tried to expand my uh, American collection recently, so um, that's kind of what I focused on. Anyway, I'll get started, um, I've got a copy of A Hard Day's Night. Um, I recently found out my other copy was Canadian, but um, this is definitely a US copy on uh, the United Artists label, and that's in pretty nice shape actually. Um, the cover, uh, it's got a bit of scuff into the back, but I mean it's not ripped or anything, you know, it's, it's in very good condition otherwise, so... I'm pretty happy with that one, and uh, all of these US albums are actually got very reasonable prices, so I'm, uh, I, I was pleased to pick up as many as I could, and this is a copy of Something New. I've always really liked this US album, actually. I think this has probably been one of my favourite US Beatles albums, and this also is a nice mono copy on the Capital Rainbow label, and this is one that is in particularly nice shape. Um... Here's the back of the cover. Bit of writing up there, but apart from that, it is very nice indeed. Sounds great. And now for a copy of Beatles 65 in mono and also with the uh, with the original shrink wrap on, so that's a, that's a nice added bonus. Although um, I was just looking for a nice copy, a nice copy of the album anyway, because the only one I had up to this point um, was a purple label, capital copy. So I was, I was, it was nice to get an original mono to go with that. And uh, obviously, because it's in the original shrink, the cover is very nice indeed. Um, now this is a copy of Help. Um, this is not an original stereo, this is on the uh, 70s orange label, as you can see there. Um, I've actually got a mono copy coming in the post that I've ordered from eBay last week, so I'm looking forward to getting that. Though I just thought I'd get a stereo copy as well. Plus, this is only £8, so that was absolutely fine. Didn't have to pay too much for that. Now, I think this has to be my favourite purchase. Um, that I'm showing in this vinyl update, the Beatles yesterday and today. Now, unfortunately, this is not a second state butcher cover. You know, it, it's just the trunk cover, but that's fine. You know, I mean, just for me to get a genuine copy of yesterday and today is good enough. Um, I'll take it out of the sleeve so I can show it better. I'll show you the cover first of all. Again, apart from the uh, the usual, just a bit of scuff. Um, scuffing around the edges, it's really not too bad. Um, this is a mono copy. Um, now, if this was the uh, second state butcher cover, you'd usually be able to see Ringo's V neck um, around this white section here, but I can't see that. Yeah, so, but I'm I'm perfectly content just to have this uh, trunk cover copy because um, it it was very difficult for me to find good US albums, so to pick up a copy of yesterday and today. Um, was great look really and there's the back of the cover not too yellow at all really so and here is the record on the capital rainbow label mono of course I uh, believe most of these records are East Coast presents um, I've been doing a little bit of research to help find out um, what's East and what's West Coast and apparently East Coast presents um, on the side number the, for East Coast um, it's the one is just like a line 
Whereas on the west coast it's got, it's got like a serif at the top, so the one just looks a bit different. Um, but yeah, either way, west or east or Jacksonville even, I'm just happy to have a nice copy of that, so excellent. Okay, and now on to a copy of Yellow Submarine. Um, I've always preferred the American uh, Yellow Submarine cover actually because... Um, First of all, it's got a much more colourful uh, back of the sleeve because it's got all all the illustrations of the characters and it's got a, a key down there to tell them to tell you who they all are. And one thing I did notice actually is that the um, the write up on the back of the sleeve seems to be different to the uh, to the English one because I remember that telling you just about the album and about the white album that they'd done before this, whereas the um, this just kind of tells you about the film and. Like history and all sorts of like hilarious nonsense, but either way, still, still think it's really good to read. And of course, the American one has the uh, selections by the Beatles plus original film music text in the corner there. Here's the album. In stereo, of course, because Yellow Submarine was never released in mono in the US. And now on to Hey Jude, or the Beatles again. Um, this is a slightly later copy, which has uh, Hey Jude on the label, rather than the early copies, which have the Beatles again written on the label. Right, and here's the record. Now, um, this is one of the versions where... The first track, Can't Buy Me Love, is above the spindle hull and has the SW in the catalogue number rather than SO, so it is a slightly later copy. But it still plays very well and the covers are also in good condition. And now for Let It Be. Um, I have since found out actually that uh, my previous copy of this was a counterfeit, which is rather obvious when you look at it. And uh, this is on the Red Apple label, of course. And uh, you know that this is the early version because the Maggie May credits are just PD, which stands for Public Domain. And it has slightly different credits on the later version. And there's the Red Apple label. Another indicator that this is an early copy is that in the Matrix, the names of uh, Phil and Ronnie are in the Matrix, um, which also seems to have been on the early copies. And uh, unlike the UK edition of this album, this is of course a gatefold, which I really like, which makes it a bit more interesting, with some nice pictures. And this um, is a VJ album that I was also able to get. Songs, pictures and stories of the fabulous Beatles. And there's the back. Can, this was just kind of intended so you could, uh, if you're a girl, um, you could paste your picture in the heart for your favourite Beatle to love you. And... Um, Basically, this is just another way that VJ was able to uh, remarket introducing the Beatles. Because that's what the record is inside. They've just made it a slightly different uh, cover. But um, this front bit kind of kind of just folds over so you can read all the information on the inside. It tells you profiles and lots of uh, information which, you know, is ranges from heights and colour measurements and everything you know to hair colour and uh, the education and all sorts you know just everything you you, you would want to know about your favourite Beatles and there's the tracks there for introducing the Beatles now this album was paired with version 2 of introducing the Beatles which means it has Ask Me Why 
and uh, please please me on the record for all and love me do and P.S. I love you and I was happy to get that one because I don't often see VJ albums and finally John and Yoko's wedding album now um, I didn't really set out to buy a copy of this at any point although in the Beatles shop in Liverpool um, they had about ten of them and um, they were they were pretty low price actually so I just thought I'd take advantage of that opportunity and um, they are all American copies but um, at the end of the day I'm probably not going to see a copy that cheap um, any time in the near future so I just thought I'd get one um, as you can see by the state of the box definitely not in the best condition um, but you know it's it's still pretty good I'll, I'll show you it um, on the inside of the of the lid of the box has got a copy of the WEN certificate which is uh, which is really good to see and then you've got all sorts of inserts in here you've got uh, this thing here which is just like a massive uh, on, two things there, a massive fold out poster with all sorts of different pictures of the wedding in case you fancy hanging that on your wall and you've also got this thing black booklet with the press written at the top now that's good because there's all sorts of uh, kind of newspaper and press cuttings about John and Yoko and all sorts of other interesting photographs yeah this is all stuff that the media and obviously the press have written about them that's really interesting to read and um, one of my favourite inserts actually I don't know why um, bagism, it's a plastic bag there's some good old wedding cake for you to eat while you're listening to the album um, and these inserts are in surprisingly good condition actually considering the state of the box so that just slides back in there and now we have this next insert which is really just sketches of John and Yoko and a few little frames there. It folds out to this massive thing. So yeah, there's all sorts of stuff in here. And finally, we get to the actual record, which as you can see is John and Yoko on the front. Now, uh, I've got a really good picture of John and Yoko doing the uh, the bed sit, hair piece and bed piece. John and Yoko. And that's got a nice gate fold on the inside of there too. And I'll show you the record. Wedding Elm by John and Yoko. Uh, John and Yoko on side one. And you've got Amsterdam on side two. I heard this once yesterday and that will be the only time I ever hear this album. But um, there you go, I just thought that would be interesting to get. You know, I've, I've got a copy of it now anyway, so... Okay, that's kind of it for this Beatles update. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing these. And I'll see you next time.